what is going on aries baby it is scorpion red tarot i am back at it again with the remix to find out what's going on with you for the month of february 2019 yes indeedy yes indeedy shout out to all my aries um who has booked personal and private readings with me thank you thank you so much for the love and support and thank you so much to everyone who has given page donations and love offerings to scorpion red tarot as you can see i have um seven new decks and i am now recording on my camcorder and i thank you so much and i want to just say sorry again for the late upload because y'all know i was dealing with um the flu so thank you so much to all the well wishes from everyone who has just you know sent prayers and you know um get well um wishes to me and my family so thank you so much for all that love and support um so if you want to book a personal or private reading you can click the about tab there's a hyperlink that says scorpion reds tarot as simply book me again that's scorpion reds tarot as simply book me and there is also a hyperlink in the description for my paper information if you would like to give a love donation if this video resonated okay so let's get into the prayer for the sign of Aries father God <laughs> excuse me <coughs> <coughs> thank you so much for bringing us here for the sign of Aries thank you so much for the progression and um and helping us just untangle you know the web that we create for ourselves and sometimes you know i feel like the sign of aries um has definitely gone through ups and downs and has learned a lot of trials and tribulations throughout life and um they still stand strong and they still you know are a willing student ready to learn um the next step on how to be a better person and i love aries for that and, and aries is telling you um deep within their self father god thank you for allowing them to continue to learn and to just be a better person every day so father god please give us the guidance for the sign of aries in the month of uh february thank you so much for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past present and future please give the sign of aries guidance for the month of february thank you so much all right let's get into it Let's find out what we got for the sign of Aries. Please give me guidance for the sign of Aries. February. All right. Thank you so much. All right. There we go. At Eight of Pentacles, working on your self-mastery. Indeed. But at an indecision right now and something where you're in a battle. I feel like you're turning a blind eye to a certain conflict, a mental conflict. Okay. Alright, something that needs to come to an end. Alright, Aries. So right now, you've been working on your self-mastery. Indeed, you are fine tune and at work and not only have you been working on yourself you are stepping back and looking at the refinery in which you created for yourself and I feel like you're very proud of yourself at this current moment in your life you most definitely are I just feel like internally you're going through a battle inside because you're at a point where you're trying to make a decision Aries a decision, a decision between two things that um, I feel like hold great value in your life, and um, it might possibly be a decision between two different people that you're you're trying to grab some mental gauge right now, and you're um, like actually blindfolded to this and, and, and you're acting like you really don't see and you don't see this conflict and this battle going on right in front of your face it's, it's like you act like you don't see it and you know I feel like you don't even really want to take any responsibility to it but you're going to have to make a decision you're going to have to choose one of these players here you know because they look like they are willing to fight to the death for you 
And um, you can't continue to turn a blind eye and act like things are not going on in front of your face when you know that they are. Okay? You got to really grab, hold, and get some strength here. You can't just continue to allow things to just fall at the wayside and things just happen. And that's what I feel like you're doing. You're acting like, you know, you're not able to make a solid decision on something and you don't. You don't own an ounce of strength to like really come to terms with this situation. And not only is it putting the people in your environment in a disarray, it's, it's putting you emotionally in a disarray. After you've worked so hard on yourself, you know, to get yourself to this point. It's like you are in a place where you just like emotionally unbalanced and not knowing how to give yourself emotionally. And I feel like you're not ready to really end one of these options that you were very much so battling with inside. I don't I don't feel like you're really ready to let go of one of these yet. But you're going to, you can't avoid this forever. Like, you cannot avoid this forever because at the end of the day, it's going to jeopardize everything that you work so hard for. It's like, why work so hard to let a stupid, petty bit of indecisiveness destroy everything that you worked hard for? If it's time to, like, get your emotions together and deal with some shit... And like call an engine to something so you can go forth and be prosperous. You need to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like what's the delay in this? Because at the end of the day, this is a major arcana. You can try to delay it all you want to. It, it, the death, the ending is going to come whether you like it or not. Okay? So it's like you better, you better get some emotional balance here. And you better get some strength here. And do what the fuck you need to do. I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. All right? Spirit, please give the sign of Aries guidance and love. And this is the Mystic Moon Love Oracle deck. Spirit, please give the sign of Aries guidance and love. For the month of November 2000. 19. Thank you so much. Please get the sign of Aries. Got us in love. Thank you so much. Union. Divine Feminine. Okay. Inner Child. I feel like the union that you're in at this moment, you're recognizing um, the Aries man is recognizing the divine feminine. And I feel like this woman really brings out the inner child in them. And this union, I feel like it really brings them at peace. It really brings them at peace. This person, um, I, I feel like this person really, really brings them a certain level of joy, yeah, vibrations in the fall, yeah. I feel like this person that um, Aries is around right now, I feel like this union brings them peace. This union brings them peace and it brings them a certain level of harmony. And this woman, this divine feminine that they have in their life right now, I feel like brings an airy light element to their life. And I feel like it's something that is like very uplifting to them. I feel like this person is very uplifting to them and they and they know that this is their divine feminine and this is their soulmate because when they're around them it brings out their inner child and they just really feel this sense of just new de new beginning and just new development in this relationship and 
this relationship with this person gives them a certain level of vibration and just balance and just zen. It's just it. Like, it really is it. And I feel like you met this person during the fall, like last fall. Or if you haven't met this person yet, Aries, this person is going to be coming into your life in the fall for my Aries men. Okay, do you hear me? But this person really, really does like put a certain level of vibration in your life that it just really makes you just feel at home and it just really just balances you and just gives you a certain level of just tranquility and you need to listen Aries you need to come to terms and if this is how this person is making you feel what is the point of like gambling this connection and the thing that I'm trying to tell you, you don't think that this person, you don't think that this person feels that shit. This person can feel and know that they're having somebody else that they're having to battle with for your love. And they're not going to deal with that shit, especially not no divine feminine. You understand what I'm saying? One that's really in her truth and is really on her real vibration and knows, and knows her worth. She will walk away from you and she will see you in another lifetime. She is not going to. Mm -mm. You shouldn't have to fight for a union that's rightfully yours. Spirit, please give. Uh oh, we ain't doing it. Spirit, please give the sun Aries. One card. Thank you. Thank you so much. Please give this out of here. One card. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ooh. The death and the mate. Mm, 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 mm. mm, mm, mm. Y'all gonna make me dig. All right, y'all. I don't like this card right here. This card is just basically just letting you know that this is like somebody in your energy that's just invasive. That is just like literally like around you just to suck all of the energy like an energy vulture like i'm gonna read y'all this card y'all it says okay a leery skeleton is looming over a beautiful naked young woman and doesn't seem to have any idea of how its presence is affecting her it's not aware and it's not interested in her response, her reality, or her needs. The skeleton represents true death, the relentless ego, and is, a, and is way too close for comfort. The vulnerable young woman is cowering and feeling herself frozen as its unwanted touch, um, as its unwanted hand touches her. Death speaks. I am full of need. I am hungry for life force. I need to be close to this young one. As she has all that I long for. And all that I have not created for myself. I would simply hoover over her. And take from her. Which I want. Her warmth. Her energy. Her emotions. Her beauty. She is an extension of me. What I want. I will take. And I love her too. Very much. So much, I just might consume her entirely. The maiden speaks. I thought this was love. But now I can see and I can feel that this is invasive. It says it cares for me. Yet it seems to just want to take from me. This no longer feels right. But I feel helpless and vulnerable. What can I do? How do I break free? And what if what it says is true is that it loves me and I have nothing to fear? And I'm fearing for no reason. The true message. There is a very out of balance. 
there's something very out of balance about this relationship between you and another one at this time. It may be that you are deaf and taking too much and imposing on another. All the while blind as the skeleton is to the truth. Or it may be that you are the maiden and have no defense against another who is draining you. Claiming all the while to love you. You may be drawn into the drama and the color and entertainment of a relationship that is full of highs and lows and passions. But you are now discovering that it is tiring, draining, and lacking the respect. It is time to truthfully assess this relationship and take it a step further. More protected and more respected. Do not attempt to condense. Do not attempt to condense. Oh my goodness. Do not attempt to convince death of its problems. Those real people will only draw, draw closer, cling harder, and convince you that you have a problem, not them. You may fear as to what they may do once you separate from them, as they are vindictive, vindictive and malicious. Freedom is worth the trial and separation. Ask yourself, is this relationship healthy for me? If the answer is no, then you must take the steps that you need to, to go. Alright? So, Spirit is just basically telling you that there is someone hovering over you in this connection here. Alright? There is a third here that you're trying to be blinded to right now. And you're trying to act like you don't see this. And you don't see this as a problem. And you don't have strength to really break this tie right here. But this person is literally just like... Hoover it over you, sucking you dry like right now, honestly. Let's dig into the shadows, you guys. Let's dig deep. Figure out what's going on with this connection. This death in the maiden card. Spirit, please give me guidance surrounding this death in the maiden card. That we see this union with the divine feminine. Please give Aries guidance in, in regards to what is going on in the shadows in regards to whatever connection that they have here for the month of February. Please give the silent Aries guidance for the month of February. Power. It's like a sense of power. It's just you know, I feel like Aries is most definitely trying to gain power and control over the situation right now. And that's why they're being elusive. Because this was a relationship that was built on lust. And I feel like Aries realizes that. Yeah, it was it's a superficial connection that they were just using to medicate their self at this current moment all right so listen it's like like i'm trying to tell you this situation it was just like a thing of power for aries i feel like aries was in a low point in their life where they were just like Vibrating on, on, on a low level type of shit. I feel like this relationship that is going on um, with whoever this person is that is not their divine feminine. This union that they feel like that keeps them in a high vibration here. This person right here, it was just a power play for them. And I feel like they are trying to regain their power back in this situation because I feel like it's gotten out of hands. And that's why they are trying to you know, pull their card and just be elusive right now. Because they feel like the more and more that they feed this intention, the more and more that this lust is going to continue to grow. And the more that you're just like feeding the beast. And I just honestly feel that this situation was founded on lust it was just a sexual situation and that's why they are like taking their power back and being a little bit elusive right now with this person and, and playing a little disappearing act because it's just like this wasn't founded on the right shit this was like a superficial connection like this was like it was based on sex and it was just based on 
thrilling and excitement. You know what I'm saying? And it's just gone. And the only reason why I'm still holding on to the situation is just like, I'm just, it's just something self-indulgent. It's just like, it just, It's, I feel like it's something that drives Aries to drink. <laughs> I feel like they medicate themselves because of this situation. I feel like this situation gives them a certain level of, of stress. But at the same time, this situation is a self-medicating situation for them. And their environment that they need right now is just like a bandage over... You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit of medicine to kind of fix and heal the situation of what's going on in their life right now. And it is superficial. It may just be like a situation based on convenience. You know what I'm saying? It may be a situation based on convenience and like right now they're just medicating. You know? They're just Adding fuel to the fire. They're just. I don't feel like they know how to take that mask off. Spirit please clarify. The first spirit for Aries. For the month of February. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's like they really want to just sneak out of this situation. And try to avoid. Like complete chaos. Before. Like shit hits the fan, honestly. And it's like, but it's like you're being deceitful and, and, and you're not, this is the emperor in reverse. You're not taking responsibility. It's like you really want to just dip out of this. You want to dip out of this superficial, less based situation. You want to kind of just like sneak out of it. Without really trying to like take any responsibility for anything. And that's the seven of pentacles. In this link. Yeah. It's like you've been trying to wait. For things to get better. You've been trying to wait for things to grow. But what is that? That is. I believe that's the. Yeah that's the. <sighs> You don't, yeah, let me just verify which card that is, because I, I think that is, oh, no. yeah, that's the star card, and it's like your point out, okay, so, like, Aries really just wants to sneak away and just kind of get out of this situation here, this situation that is, this, this situation is superficial and based off of lust. I feel like they've been stuck in a situation for a long time, and I feel like it's not the person that they truly love, and they really just want to sneak out of this and just try to avoid complete disaster, and they really don't want to take responsibility, and they really haven't been being the man in the situation that they truly should be and like they know it and it's because they really just don't feel like they belong here in this situation like they've honestly waited and they waited trying to give this situation the intention and the love and the you know the effort that it requires but it just isn't paying off for them like honestly it's really just not paying off for them for real for real and it's just like you see the skull you know they feel like for this thing to grow it's like they literally will have to like give their like their their soul to it like almost you see what i'm saying or somebody else will have to be sacrificed for this shit to grow you know basically yes yeah, somebody else will have to be sacrificed for this shit to grow you know and they, they, they've just been waiting they've been waiting for their harvest like that's truly what they've been waiting for but it's just like they've been waiting forever for nothing and it's just like they don't have any more faith in the situation and they just like pouring everything out like they're pouring everything out and I feel like they really had to see 
who they're who they are in the shadows i feel like they had to face their self in the rain and in the shadows for them to truly get it and truly understand their purpose and what their light he is on this earth like they i feel like they have to get away from this situation here that they had to get away from this in order for them to see their true place and where they are in life. And I feel like this situation, I feel like they met someone. They met someone. And they feel like this person is their divine feminine. They feel like this person is someone who is divinely placed in their life. And they just like just put them on a certain vibration, a certain level. And... This is the King of Wands in reverse. I feel like Aries is in a place in their life right now where I feel like they've been really focusing on a lot of things that are lost and a lot of things that like where they could be right now, where things could be and where things should be right now. And I feel like when Aries starts thinking about this past, that really puts them in a low vibration. And even though I feel like that low vibration, them being in that place where they sunk in that place, that put them in the atmosphere where they were able to meet this divine feminine. I feel like Aries needs to get over whatever it is that they're looking back at at the past because they should be rightfully like sitting in this chair not with their back turned to their responsibilities and the things that they need to they need to focus their passions they need to focus their desires and i feel like aries is just like kind of all over the place in regards to exactly what it is and what they what they want in life and I feel like they're holding back a lot of secrets that they think that won't ever come to light. But it will. I just feel like you're trying to turn your back to... You're, you're trying to turn your back to a lot of things. And if you want this situation with this Divine Feminine to really prosper and to get to... A place where it can grow. I feel like you have until the fall. To get your vibrations together. Or you're going to lose this divine feminine. And you're going to have to meet this person in another lifetime. Because at the same time. You're not ready to face certain truths in your life. You're not ready to be truthful. You're not ready to really stand up. And address certain things. And cut certain shit off. That need to be cut off. You're still harboring secrets. Do you see what I'm saying? And they're going to come out. And, and you know. They will come out eventually. You can't avoid this ending. You can't avoid this from happening. You have the key to decide. What it is exactly that you want to do. And how this shit is going to play out. You know. It's up to you. But at the same time. It's going to come out regardless if you like it or not. It's up to you to jump ahead of it or not. But you have to seek truth and clarity. You have to be truthful. Okay? You can't just decide, I'm just going to hop up on my high horse. And I'm just going to, again, you know, look forward into the future. And I see a brighter horizon over there. And it's like I'm thinking about going over there. And I'm trying to manifest this new beginning. Because... I have all of the resources that I need to have this new beginning with this new person, with this divine feminine. And it's just like, you know, I want to go over there and I know that that's where I need to be. But at the same time, I'm not really ready to rush forward like the man that I should and give the person that I need to give this person truth and clarity and let them know, look, I'm looking elsewhere. I'm trying to manifest a new beginning with someone else. Like, you're not really ready to do that. 
And it's like you got to be ready to do that if you really want this union up here to, you know, be everything that you want it to be. And just, you know, and it very much so could, but it's, it's, it's up to you. It's up to you, Aries. So anyway, listen, this has been your reading. I hope that you guys like this reading. Um, subscribe. If you guys want to book a personal or private reading, go ahead and click that About tab. If this reading resonated with you, and if you would like to give a love donation, or if you want to book a personal or private reading, the um, PayPal information is in the description and um, my booking information is on the About tab, okay? I love you guys. Love and like. I will see you in the mid-months. Peace, Aries. Love you.